Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to show you guys some hammock tutorials on how to make these two hammocks. So the first one is a, just a flat hammock and flat hammocks are the easiest and simplest hammock that you can make. You just hang it up and they can lay in it. And then this is a double decker hammock. They can lay on top on this part and they can also go inside of it and sleep on the inside. And I find that my rats prefer the double decker hammocks to pretty much any other hammock I've ever made them. They really, really like these ones. So most rats do. So I hope your rats enjoy and I hope you can learn to DIY your own hammocks from this video. Enjoy! Okay, so first you're just going to want to pick your fabrics. For the flat hammock, I chose this tie-dye and this blue. And then for the double decker, since I am planning on doing some holiday cage themes, I chose these holiday fabrics. Generally, you're going to want one pattern and one solid fabric. The pattern can also be cotton or flannel if you would like that too. So next you're just going to want to cut your fabric. As you can see, I already had a piece of the blue fabric cut to size from last time I made a flat hammock, but I still need to cut the tie-dye. You can make flat hammocks pretty much any size that you would like, but the size I like to make mine is 15 inches by 15 inches so that it is a square. Fleece is a lot easier to cut if you have one of these rotary cutters just because it's a pretty thick fabric, but if you don't, no worries, you can cut with fabric scissors as well. I finished cutting my tie-dye piece and then I'm probably not going to be able to get any hammocks out of the remaining piece so it'll probably just be used for scrap fleece in my hides. So next you're going to want to put the two pieces of fleece on top of each other with the right sides together. The right side is basically the side that's more vibrant and clear. It's kind of hard to tell on fleece so obviously the rats aren't going to care if it's a little bit off. So next you're just going to either pin or clip the two pieces together. I prefer to use these little fabric clips because especially when it's fleece on fleece, it's pretty thick and it's just easier to use these clips in my opinion, but either one works very well. And then you're just going to sew them together, making sure to take the clips out as you go along. I like to go forward and then backward a few times when I start, just to kind of reinforce it a little bit and make it a little bit stronger, but that's optional. So you're just gonna sew all the way around on all four sides. But at the very end, you want to leave a opening about this big so we can turn it right side out later. And now you're just gonna cut any loose threads and you're also gonna cut any of the fabric outside of the seam. Where you wanna cut the most is the corners because that's where it tends to get pretty bunched up when you flip it right side out. And then you're just going to use the opening that we left in an earlier step to turn the hammock right side out. And this is just going to make it look a lot more finished and a lot nicer. And then you can use one of these wooden dowel things or a pen and gently poke the corners out a little bit, making sure not to push too hard, you don't want to push through the corners. You can also use a needle or a pin to kind of put it in the fabric and pull out. I find that this kind of works better than the wooden dowel. 
And then you're gonna wanna go around all four sides and pull the seams out a little bit just to make it look a little bit cleaner. This step is optional, but it makes it look a lot more finished. And after you do that to a few inches, you can put some clips where you just pulled out the seams. This way it'll keep everything straight for when we top stitch. So the next thing you're going to want to do is sew shut the opening that you left. You're just going to tuck this in and make it look as similar to the rest of the edges as possible. And then you're just going to clip it or pin it shut. And then you're just going to stitch it closed. It's pretty hard to make it look really good, so just do your best and it'll be fine. Again, for this step, I like to go backwards and forwards just so it makes it a little bit stronger. And then again, you're just going to cut off any of the loose threads. And now it's time to top stitch the rest of the edges. You're just going to want to line your sewing foot up like this and then go around all four edges and do a top layer of stitching. This just makes it look a little bit more finished and a little bit neater and also gives it a little bit more stability. So once you're done, the hammock should look like this, and then we're ready to put the holes in the corners so you can hang it up. You can do this a few different ways. I personally don't have grommets yet, but that's the best way that you can do it. So if you don't have grommets, you can just do what I'm doing, which is using these little tiny scissors to poke a hole in each of the corners. And I just use these metal shower curtain hooks to hang my hammocks up and I find they work really well so I'm just showing you how I attach them. And then this is the hammock hanging up. So now I'm moving on to the double decker hammock and the double decker is basically two flat hammocks of different sizes stacked on top of each other in a certain way. You're going to want to make one flat hammock that is 11 and a half by 13 inches and then the other one should be 16 and a half by 13 inches. So you want a bigger and a smaller piece of the pattern and a bigger and a smaller piece of the plane or solid fleece. So I'm just cutting those pieces right now. And those were the two larger pieces to make the larger portion of the hammock. And now I'm just cutting the two smaller pieces for the smaller portion. Since I already showed you guys how to make flat hammocks in the first portion of this video, I thought I would just do a time lapse of me making them. And if you need to refer back to the first part of this video in order to make the two flat hammocks, that's fine too. But basically you're just going to make one hammock with the two um, 11 and a half by 13 inch pieces of fleece and then another flat hammock with the two 16 and a half by um, 13 inches pieces of fleece. <laughs> So 
after you have made the two different sizes of flat hammocks, we're going to do something called quilting. And quilting is basically when you top stitch in a pattern on top of the hammock. This is just to give it a more finished look, give it some more stability since this is a little bit more of a complex hammock. And it also helps hold it together a little bit more when your rats chew on it, which will probably happen because that's what they like to do. And I attempted to make some like pictures with some lines drawn on them to show you guys the pattern that I quilted this in. You can see how I do it on the screen right now and now I'm just going to try and talk you through it a little bit. So first, if you're looking at the hammock like this, vertically up and down, you're just going to position it like this and then you're going to top stitch a line directly down the center. And then you're just going to flip it and do another top stitch line so it makes a plus sign. And then you're going to sew diagonally from one corner to the opposite bottom corner and do the same to the other two corners. So it should look like this when you're done. And then you're just going to do the exact same thing to the smaller hand. So this is where we're actually going to start like building the double decker hammock. It gets a little bit confusing, but I really tried to explain it as best as I could. Again, with the illustrations that may or may not be helpful. But first you're going to lay the larger piece pattern side down on your table or mat. And you should have the longer sides on the top and bottom and the shorter sides on the, well, the sides. So it should look like that. And then you're going to place the smaller flat hammock um, pattern up on top of the larger flat hammock that is laying face down. And it should look like this. And you want to align the two sides that have the same length, which is 13 inches. I tried to illustrate that here. This is how you want the smaller hammock to be placed. Then you're going to slide the smaller hammock over by about an inch and then flip the entire thing over so it should look like this and that extra that extra one inch is just for when we have to cut holes or put grommets in to hang the hammock up so now you're just going to sew these together along the line that I drew and then it should look like this when you're done so you can unfold it and then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. You kind of just have to position it the right way with the one inch overhang. And then you'll be finished and it should look like this. And now I'm just doing the same thing I did with the flat hammock where I'm using the scissors to poke one hole in each corner and then attaching my metal shower curtain hooks. show you guys what they look like hanging up in the cage so first here is the double decker one and as you can see on top they can lay up here and then they can also go inside of here and because there's a pretty large space in between the two spots you can actually have rats sleeping on top at the same time as there are rats sleeping on the bottom so this is a really good hammock for if you have a large number of rats in the cage I only have four but still quite a few so if you have a lot of rats in the cage then they're gonna benefit from having a hammock with a lot of room in it and you'll notice this is my holiday hammock and I'm starting to gather things for some cage themes so you won't see this in any of my cage tours until I do my holiday and Christmas cage tours and then here is the flat hammock hanging up in the cage so as you can see the patterned more pretty side is on the outside and then inside is just the normal solid color fleece. So obviously this is where the rats lay and this is a really simple hammock but the rats really seem to still like this. I'm gonna try and see if any of the rats would come and lay in the hammock so I could show you guys but they are all sleeping right now in this double decker hammock. There's Twitch and then I think someone's up there. Oh, there's Finley, and there's Ruby. 
and they do not want me to touch them right now because they want to sleep. <laughs> but this is, I didn't make this one, but this is another double decker hammock so you can see they really, really like double deckers. So that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope if you guys try to make these hammocks for your own rats, it goes well. As always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. If you want to be notified when I post other videos like this, turn on the bell notifications. As always, my Instagram and TikTok for the rats are linked in the description if you want to go check those out too. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.